But what I'm showing here is a feature I implemented for Golden Cheetah called Custom Virtual Power Curve. So this is in Golden Cheetah 3.6. And uh, in the past, Golden Cheetah has had a bunch of devices uh, whose power curves have been hard-coded. So there's equations inside for each device. There's 72 devices supported. And uh, if you've got one of those devices, then you can, you can use a dumb trainer to map your trainer's speed to power, and then you can use all the training features of Golden Cheetah. Uh, but if you don't have one of these devices, then, uh, then you are kind of SOL. So here I'm just scrolling through some random devices that are there. But the main purpose of this feature is that you can now enter your own. Uh, and so this down here, we see the maximum polynomial order of the fit. And uh, so I'm going to set this to 1 so that we're only going to see a linear fit. Uh, and you can enter your own... Um, uh, data points here. So I said that at one kilometer an hour, you've got 10 watts. At 10 kilometers an hour, 100 watts. At 20, you've got 250. And at 30, you've got 475. And you could see we still got a straight line here. Uh, and, you know, this is the best fit uh, linear regression. Uh, but now I increase the permitted order to 2. Now we get a nice flat curve to 3, to 4, to 5, to 6. 6 is the maximum. And the thing to watch for is that, you know, with linear, the standard deviation is 29. Uh, with uh, with uh, second order, uh, standard deviation goes down to 2. And with cubic, it goes down to something very close to 0. Uh, so now, just for fun, I'm going to enter a bogus point. Like at 40 kilometers an hour, the power goes down to 100 watts. Uh, and you could see that even with a, uh, a second-order polynomial, uh, it's trying its darndest to get a, a good fit. But in the case of this goofy curve, it's going to have to build this big spike up here. Now, you may say this doesn't look like a parabola. Uh, and that's because the the regression, uh, there's actually three different kinds of polynomial that are fit. Uh, it's uh, polynomial regression, rational polynomial regression, and fractional polynomial regression. And the rational one is a, a fraction of a polynomial over another polynomial. So this is some second over or second order polynomial over another second order polynomial. Uh, that's why you can make these goofy shapes. Um, but you'll see that as I raise the order, uh, that the fit will start to look a lot better. Um, so this is a fifth order. I don't know what kind. It's probably rational. Those tend to, to fit the best. Um, but anyway, so now let's change this bogus point from 100 and make it 1,000 watts. And you'll see that you can tell that it's kind of overfit, um, that the, the curve here is kind of stumbling in between these data points. Uh, it's just got a little too much wiggle in it. Uh, it's unnatural. So you can see linear is bad. Uh, second order isn't great. Cubic looks all right. These points aren't great. Um, but maybe here, the fourth order, uh, the deviation goes down to nothing. This is probably what you meant. Now you can see, maybe we want to put some data point in here just to mess with it. Or here, let's say 35 kilometers an hour, we go to 825. So I'll, I'll try that. 35, 825. And oh my gosh, what do we have here? This is an asymptote. So I put this point in here to, uh, to pull it up a bit, make it look silly. And the best it can do is this rational curve. And it's basically found a solution where there's a root in the range. And so the equation goes crazy.
um, which I think is fun. So 33 and 800 and 31 and 775. And you see I'm just dropping these points in and at some point the curve will stabilize. Um, so, all right. Uh, and then when you got a curve that you like the shape of, here I can I can uh, remove these silly points here. Uh, then I can give the thing a name, silly curve, and create, and then next, and give this silly trainer, and finish. And you now have a new device with a custom virtual curve, mapping speed to power.